Proverbs 31, which describes the wife of noble character. And even though I was still young and nowhere near ready to even think about marriage, I wrote a short prayer in my Bible saying, Lord, I trust you to give me a wife after your own heart, just as your word says. And standing here with you now, I can earnestly thank God because he has answered that prayer. <laughs> Throughout the almost two years of our relationship, I've seen that you're clothed in the strength and dignity that can only come from having honest, all-in relationship with God. Your words of wisdom and gentle spirit make me feel like I can always come to you with anything and you'll be there for support and companionship. You truly are my best friend and I love you with all my heart. Today we begin a new journey together as our two lives become one. And so I vow to always love you and cherish you. I'll always be by your side through the good times and the tough times, sharing both your joys and your sorrows. I'll be your support and encouragement, always reminding you that the Lord has an amazing calling upon our lives. I will make the conscious decision to be honest and open with you because I trust you, and I will always do everything I can to make sure you trust me as well. Only God knows where this journey we're embarking on will lead us, but I'll, I will be a husband a leader who seeks after God's heart and his wisdom above all else and it is through his guidance that we will know we're heading in the right direction. True love is more than feeling, it's a choice we make and you're the one I will choose to love each and every day. And most importantly, we must choose to let God be the one sustaining our love for each other. A rope of three strands is not quickly broken and with God in the center of our relationship, it doesn't matter what comes our way, we'll be victorious together. My dear beloved, I love you. No amount of words, even if combined with every word from every language, could express my love for you adequately. I pray that my actions would show, but my words can't explain. I pray that my touch would make you feel as if I don't constantly have to limit the way I express my love to you with just the words that I love you. Nicholas, I vow to always keep God on the rock on which we stand. I vow to always fully commit and submit myself to you, confidently knowing you'll do the same. I vow to trust your judgment and discernment as a spiritual head of the New Zealand Apostle. I vow to always make our house a home of love, support, and gratitude. I vow to never lose sight of what drew us together in the first place and continues to draw us together each day. Dedication. Dedication to God and dedication to each other. Dedication to school, which we'll be seeing a lot more of, and dedication to living a life worthy of the calling God has over our lives. I vow to constantly make you my number one priority after God. I stand here today at two weeks shy of 20 years old, promising you these things for years to come, even though I have no idea what the future holds. But I know who holds the future. And I know God is our help and the one who sustains us. And today and forevermore and for always, I choose you. I choose you for better and for worse, for richer and for poorer. For sickness and in health, I choose all of you, Nicholas. Love always your best friend. Don't give your heart in pieces. 
Encourage and uplift. In Jesus' name, amen. Nick, you may now, for the time that you've been waiting for, kiss your bride for the first time. Mr. and Mrs. Nick Zamath.